Well, this is where my granddad lies. Uh, obviously, I never met him. He died uh, between the war of 1939-45. He lost his life 44. Very, very young age. And this graveyard is full of young men that, uh, that gave the life during that period. I mean, millions of young men lost their lives, uh, 1939 to 45, fighting fascism, dictatorship. And uh, basically, I mean, and truthfully, it's there to give, you know, give me my freedoms that I've had for nearly 60 years. Uh, you've got to, you've got to uh, respect these guys. And, uh, you know, it does make you wonder if, uh, if the young men of today would, uh, you know, put down the phones and and sacrifice, uh, the ultimate, the ultimate sacrifice really. Um, not, you know, for your country or more importantly, for your freedoms. Uh, very, especially at these times with all the restrictions, you know, you've got to ask yourself a few questions. Uh, same with the army. Um, following orders, would they turn on their own people? Uh, I hope none of it ever comes to that. It's a crazy, crazy way of thinking. But uh, I'm going to get down my camp, think about my granddad, and, uh, and what he went through in them times to, you know, to give me my freedom that I've got now, and uh, cook a few partridge. I've got a few partridge. So anyway, less of the dismal note. Uh, every respect for my granddad and every one of these, every one of these young men that stood up to tyranny and uh, and dictatorship in them in them years uh, 39 to 45 or any or any war against the dictator so uh, I'm gonna get off it's raining well I've got enough stuff down here to last uh, a good long weekend I mean it's only Friday afternoon so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a few changes and uh, chop and change a bit. I'm going to take, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this tarp, this tarp here. I mean, it's been up here a good while now. It, uh, it is leaking a touch, a few uh, spark holes in it. I'm going to replace it with This I got from up on the uh, on coast there. I mean, they're selling stuff off now. I got that for uh, it's a 10 by 12 foot. I think it is uh, four quid. I might we uh, bivy bag. I might put a American tarp up. I'm just out with a Tundra 300 Lake Peakland. I'm going to move this bed <coughs> over. I touch to uh, to get a good bit of tarp over it here. I've started making a bit of a, a break here as well, wind break. Everything's everything's fine in here, like Mark Taylor, outdoors. He come down uh, last weekend when I was up on coast. He had a few of mushrooms off me at uh, a meat out at Dorydale, and he's left me uh, eight cans, a red stripe sound on him. He never had to but that sound on him. I'll, uh, I'll get into one of them in a bit. A knife that I've uh, modded myself and made uh, a sheath. It's got a bit of a fat wood handled ferro rod incorporated in it. Glue and uh, just thread. I've got a uh, leather punch as well. For dinner I've got a brace of partridge. Uh, I'm just going to prep them. I'll, I'll skin them. I don't, I don't bother plucking them. Feathers get everywhere. Love the colours in these. Uh, I'm going to make first do autumn. I've got uh, some taters and some veg in there. Get some fat balls up for birds. Plenty of wood. I haven't bought dog because it's a bit muddy. Gonna get on with things. If you've got a camp, it's always uh, good to have some dry wood handy, especially in autumn, winter. Uh, this is what I get from work. That fiscus, I think it's five. Modded it myself. It, it does cut through this softwood like butter. Uh, it's always best to have some uh, fire lighting material as well. I'll get that uh, together in a bit. 
fire's already prepped. I'll get that lit. As for partridge, I just skin them. I uh, I don't bother plucking them. Feathers going everywhere. Uh, and for a small bod, there's not there's not a bad bit of meat on them. Uh, I'll give that a bit of a wash out. I'll get that one uh, prepped. I get one on stew, and uh, might just get one of at fire. Well, I've got these a bit of a rinse through. Uh, tidy up. Get one on a roast and one with some veg for a stew. And to Mark Taylor Outdoors. Cheers, mate. Beautiful. Well in there, potatoes, partridge, mushrooms, broccoli, carrots, onions, uh, there might be a few other things in there as well. Like. But, uh, I'm going to get that one on roasting later tonight, just going to slow cook this stew and get on with things. Well that stew is coming along brilliant, that meat is just falling off them bones. I'll add a bit of thickness. Get some dinner. Well there we have supper, pheasant stew. Just have to uh, be careful at bones but look at that meat, look how it's just falling off that. I've got other one roasting on firebox there. It's gonna chill out now. I like this bed here. Morning. Well, I forgot all about that partridge roasting over that fire last night. I just got on top of that sleeping bag and drifted off. Uh, good night's sleep, quite comfortable that bed is. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll add that, I'll add that partridge to stew today. Uh, got a brew on. I'm gonna see if I've got time to change that. Uh, got a bit of a setup here last night and uh, quite a pleasant night. I'll chill out and get on with things. Well, I set this up last night, hopefully, to catch some water. Yeah, and up back there. But we've had uh, we've had very little rain. I've carried on making a bit more of uh, a barrier there. 
But before I do out else, I'm going to get my dog. Well, it has opened it up to sunshine, taking this uh, this tarp off over here. But uh, you need shelter. I need shelter for, for autumn and winter rains. So uh, I'll put that 10 by 12 up and see what I can do with that that I've took off. I've got my dog. I'll get on with things. Well, I was hoping this four quid top, we're going to have a green uh, inner lining like that one. Very tant, it's all blue. I've done a bit of covering though. What I'll do, I'll just use that as a secondary tarp, mainly for uh, for disguise. I'll give that a uh, bit of a clean up. Place it over the top. Well, I am getting to covering with original tarp, but this blue one is still about two foot bigger. So uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'll just. Uh, Put that old DD thing there, uh, it's about had its day, uh, just to break it up for a bit of camouflage really. That's a good bit of covering in there now. Well that partridge that I roasted on the fire last night, it is a bit dry. It's lovely sweet meat. So I'm going to add that. I think it's with some more veg. Go brew on first. Well, everything's working fine here. Angus on look at, and this new tarp is taking it rain. Well away from front bed. I am going to move this bed a bit further back though. Well, I am one of them folk that say stew is always better the second time round when it's been standing a bit. That is gorgeous. Still raining. Dog's down. Well, I have put that camo tarp over and it has covered it pretty well. It's uh, gone all the way back. It looks an old lot better from this side as well. I've moved the bed out away from tree and uh, built screen up a bit. Had enough of partridge stew, so I'm going to take Anne for a walk.
Well, Angus is getting into it, rest at partridge stew. I'm just going to chill out here, crack it at fire. It sounds as though there's some uh, fireworks coming off, off at estate. Morning. I was in bed pretty early last night. I'd got everything done that I had to do. Uh, I started flicking through through YouTube. I came across uh, that Stand Up channel. Uh, I don't know whether mainstream media or newspapers will report it today, but there was uh, a couple of thousand people on the streets of London yesterday protesting for the very same freedoms that we was uh, talking about Friday when I was up in Graveyard. I mean, this has gone on for seven or eight months now, all these restrictions that we get in. Uh, I mean, is, uh, is the country turning into a dictatorship? You never know where this is going to end. Uh, I mean, the police, it looks as though they've already took their sides. Uh, we're living in very crazy times. Uh, for what, uh, for what the government are doing, they're not listening to any other of the doctors. All they're bothered about is statistics. They've already combined the uh, the COVID with the with the flu uh, to bump the numbers up. It does uh, it does make you think we're a very sorry state, the, the country if not the world is in. Um, whether the government will uh, listen to these protesters, uh, the only time will tell. I'm, I'd, I'd, uh, I'm not very positive about it myself. But anyway, I'm going to have a lie in and uh, just chill out a bit, get some breakfast on, and have a bit of a tidy up. Well, breakfast for me is just coffee and a snowball. I've had my fill of uh, partridge stew. Angus can have this. I've got me my tarp up. It does do a bit of a good bit of covering that. Best bed I've ever made that, very comfortable, in the, in the pit early last night, woke up about 7 o'clock. So what I'm going to do, just going to be a quick tidy up, drink me drink, get on with things. Well, a two bod stew and a couple of armfuls of veg and tates and you've got a good meal there for a couple on you for two or three days. Uh, even my dog, even my dog's had his fill. In fact... He's got back down. Well, 
Well, it's looking like rain. So the thing that I've changed here is that anchor rope. I've changed it for like a, a tree hugger that I can uh, loosen off uh, when I leave. It's same, same here as well. I'll fold it all in so it's not tree dependent when I'm not here. Well, that's how it's looking. It's all folded down. Uh, none of it's tree dependent now. In fact, that don't look a bad winter setup, really. All packed, bag of rubbish. Gonna shoot off. Well, I don't get much data on my phone, so I haven't a clue what's happened in the world since Friday. So, uh, but uh, scanning through YouTube last night, I will check up to see how this protest went in London. And I think there was also one in Liverpool. Uh, the thing that I was watching it would be in live, live stream and it were like two hours long and I watched about five minutes on it. So I'll, uh, I'll check up on that. Apart from that there's some lovely, lovely autumn colours coming out now. And uh, head off home. Get on with things. Till next time. And it's because of folks like my granddad that I've been with this little beauty for the last 40 <laughs> years. We met at a punk rock disco about 1978.